Today is Memorial of St. Patrick Falls on a Lenten Friday. So what does that mean for Catholics who want to feast on a day we are traditionally called to fast? EWTN News contributor Catherine Hadro reports on the meat of the matter. Irish pubs have been busy prepping for big crowds on St. Patrick's Day. I know exactly what's going to happen. People will be lining up at 7 o'clock in the morning because they know we open at 9. But St. Patrick's Day today falls on one of the six Fridays in Father, Lent. In this behalf, only happens death, once or twice a decade, posing a dilemma for Catholics who want to party on a day they're called to penance. There's better ways to celebrate that than just saying, all right, let's all go out and eat corned beef and cabbage and drink green beer or something like that. Or if you want to do that, great. Do that Thursday or Saturday or Sunday or any other time during the week. Many U.S. bishops have issued dispensations for their diocese so the faithful can enjoy corned beef today instead of the Friday fish fry. But there are other U.S. bishops who have opted to keep the day of abstinence from meat in place, including Bishop William Walk of the Pensacola Tallahassee Diocese. I wasn't making a huge statement about, you know, who's right and who's wrong and all of that. This is a small thing that we can do to abstain from meat on six Fridays in Lent plus Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. It's really not a lot. This is the first time that Bishop Walk, who's of Irish heritage himself, had to discern this decision. He points out dispensations were traditionally an act of mercy issued during a time when Lenten practices were more strict. Well, I don't think we're there now with all of the food that we eat and that is available to us. You know, we don't, I don't think we have to make that dispensation. It kind of went against the grain for me because my Irish grandmother would never have eaten meat on a Friday of Lent. <laughs> Bishop Kevin Rhodes of Fort Wayne South Bend did issue a dispensation for his diocese, which includes the University of Notre Dame's Fighting Irish. But his is not your standard decree. I thought that um, really a better solution than just dispensing would be to really honor St. Patrick. Bishop Rhodes declared if you were in his diocese and you either attended Mass on St. Patrick's Day or prayed the rosary for the intention of peace in the world or spent half an hour before the Blessed Sacrament, then yes, you could eat meat. I thought that that was a good solution because it didn't it just then mean that we were giving a dispensation for a secular observance. Our news partners at the National Catholic Register have created a map tracking the different bishops dispensations so you can check on the specific details within your own diocese. If you're a Catholic living in a diocese where the bishop has granted a dispensation, that means you can enjoy your corned beef and cabbage if that helps you to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. But it doesn't mean that you can overdo it at your local Irish pub. I would say, yeah, celebrate St. Patrick's and St. Patrick and, and do it in a healthy way and a good way. And, and remember what we are actually celebrating. We're celebrating this wonderful uh, saint who brought Christianity to Ireland. If you're dispensed on this St. Patrick's Friday, you can enjoy a shepherd's pie. But be sure to celebrate the Irish shepherd we're honoring and ultimately our good shepherd as well. You know, Lent is such a privileged time for us. We all need to be converted. Thanks be to God. We have the opportunity to be reconciled. God is so merciful. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Catherine Hadro, EWTN News Nightly.